Hello everyone, my name is I, Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to fix texture loss in your guys' 5M server or just in general. It doesn't have to be your 5M server, pretty much any 5M server. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is for the first couple of solutions, we're going to hop in game and then go to your in-game settings and then go to your graphics. And there's a few things that we're going to turn down in order to pretty much make sure that our graphics aren't overpowering what we can and can't run. So my, my best bet is turning these down. I don't have them down because I've got a new PC and it can actually kind of run it quite well, which is pretty weird. So we're going to turn these all down, right down to zero. None of these need to be high. It doesn't really make much of a difference. You won't notice it, but trust me, it makes a big difference on your texture loss. Then for your texture quality, I usually slap everything down onto high. Literally everything down here, your shader quality, your shadow quality, your reflection quality. Put all of this down onto high and one major Texture loss killer, FPS killer is your grass quality. And when you're driving around or whatever, you really don't notice this. So usually just put this down to normal if you can, or put it to high. Just definitely not put it on very high if you guys are experiencing some texture loss. And then for your shadows, you can put them on sharp. It's probably your best option. And then for post effects, I would keep it very high. Since if you put it down to high, some graphics mods do not work. If you guys aren't running any graphics mods, then maybe it won't make a difference for you. But I'd usually keep them on very high or ultra. It doesn't actually make too much of a difference. And for these guys down here, I've put them down onto eight. Your anisotropic filtering, if that's how you say it, put that down to eight. That usually seems to fix text loss for me when I was experience it, experiencing it. And then for your tessellation, I'd also put that down to high. That also helps quite a bit. And then one thing that makes a major difference that has recently been added to 5M is your extended texture budget. Now this is basically allowing more room or more use of your graphics card to stop texture loss. So before this was a thing, it was even worse than what you guys are experiencing now. And I'd usually put this on around the middle or maximum if you guys can, but it will use more of your graphics card video memory. And then in the advanced graphics section, literally all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is not mess with any of it. I wouldn't put long shadows on, I wouldn't put high resolution shadows on, I definitely wouldn't extend your distance scaling or your shadow distance because that will definitely cause FPS loss and texture loss. And it's really not needed. You really don't notice it, but it is actually a big, big, big difference in your game performance. So turn those down. And if that doesn't stop your texture loss, there are a few more steps that we can do outside of the game involving your cache. That usually fixes quite a few issues, especially with kind of graphical issues where vehicles or textures and buildings might disappear. That's usually a one of the main solutions for it. So I'll hop out of game. I'll show you guys how to do that. So once you guys are out of your game, all you guys are going to do is go down to your search bar here and search for your 5M application. Then you're going to want to right click on that and open file location. It's going to take you down to a shortcut in your programs. We're going to right click on that again and we're going to open the file location again. So if you guys open up your 5M application data folder and then we go inside of our data folder and then into our cache folder. And all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is pretty much control A and delete all of this like so. And then go back, go into your server cache, do the same thing, control A and delete it. Go back, server cache private, and then control A and delete it all. This basically resets all of your server storage, all of your basic server like data processing where it kind of saves data and sometimes the data gets corrupted or the server's updated and some place things and it kind of messes with the server a bit. It will cause texture loss and graphical issues. And it's usually best habit to kind of clear your cache in your 5M application data folder. Pretty much I'd say every, every month or so, always go back and clear your cache because it pretty much just gives you a fresh restart on servers. Your settings will still be saved, but it sort of just refreshes everything so your game doesn't get bogged down kind of just gives it like a breath of fresh air in a way. So that's pretty much it. If this did help your guys' texture loss and FPS loss, then make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out all my previous videos on 5M if you guys are in the market for setting up your guys' own 5M server. It's free, so be sure to check them out. They're really, really useful videos and they're all short and easy to follow like this video as well. And also you guys are wanting to set up a 5M server where you need a server host or you're looking for a Minecraft server, pretty much any game server, then be sure to check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below or in the info card in the top right hand corner. 
and use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off. And they are also running on some servers a 50% discount code right now. So be sure to check that out. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.